I did an interview, and this man asked me, he said, Mr. Harvey, the past year and a half has been the toughest year of our lives as human beings. So this had to be the toughest year of your life. I said, sir, this ain't even been in the top 10 toughest years of my life. I don't know what. I got we had a pandemic and COVID, but I've, I've had some years that, man, make this look like a cakewalk. I lost my mama 23 years ago. That was the biggest hammer I ever had in my life. I'd rather have COVID than lose my mama. So, But, sir, I'm talking about a global pandemic. Hey, once again, you asked me the question. Now, now if you want to put the answer on the, in the interview, go ahead and put the answer down. But I'm just telling you what happened to me. You know, he just wanted me to say it was the worst time. It was tough. And if you lost a loved one, I would imagine this was probably the toughest year for you. Yep. I didn't lose a loved one. So I can relate to my father, my big brother, my mama, my two best friends. I had some rough years. That's I can, and that's all it was. But you know, the blessing is we still here. I had a lot of good stuff happen during the COVID myself. But, you know. And, and you had some good stuff that happened too. You just got to look for it. Behind every moment of adversity, that there's a lesson and a blessing. Yes. Yeah, we all learned something during the pandemic. But wasn't it a blessing somewhere in there? Yeah. You know, some people, I lost my job. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do you realize sometimes when a door closes, God is sending you up the hallway to go through another door. You, you be tripping, man. That ain't your job. They closed my plant. That's cause it wasn't yours. It wasn't your plant. It ain't your job no more. They took, how can they take something from you that's yours? Your job gone. We, God got something else for you. But, if you. but if you lay in the misery of it, if you lay in the moment of adversity, you never receive the lesson or the blessing. You got to get up out the adversity, man. You got you to look for the upside. It's an upside to everything. This is life, man. Do you know that we're going to experience life till the day we die? We're going to have ups and downs. We're going to have ebbed flows. Some shit going to go good. Some shit going to go really bad. That's life. Ain't nobody immune to that. I don't care how much money you got, how famous you are. I don't care what color you are. This shit called life. It's going to keep coming. You just got to get better at handling it. Yes. You know, that's, that's my suggestion to everybody. Quit crying about what didn't happen to you. You got to start taking inventory on what actually happened. Woo! How about you live? How about you still here? How about you on Family Feud this week? How, how about you been laughing your ass off all day? How about that? Man, start looking at the upside. I went outside and started raining. Man, it's raining again. Hey, you here for the rain. You ever been to prison? It rained, you don't get to go outside. There's some people want to go stand in the f-ing rain. Then you get rain, now you mad because it's raining. But if you don't get the rain, we ain't going to have these flowers. You, it got, you got to get something. Everything God sent down from heaven, it has a return. When he's seeing rain, here come flowers. When he's seeing sunlight, here come vitamin D. Here come out. You can say, well, everything he send down, he gets something back. Quit tripping. Man, stop complaining. Let's go. Stop complaining. Let's go. Stop complaining. <laughs>